in high definition. This is KCAL 9 News at 4. Our top story at 4 o'clock, developing news. The son of the woman seen here who was attacked by a bear near Bakersfield just spoke to reporters about how his mother is doing and what happened. Good afternoon, I'm Sylvia Lopez. And I'm Sandra Mitchell. Welcome to KCAL 9 News at 4. We're also streaming live on KCAL9.com. Attacked by a bear, she survived. And this afternoon, she's out of the hospital. Just moments ago, her son talked for the first time about his mother's terrifying ordeal. KCAL 9's Mark Coogan live in Westwood with our top story for us today, Mark. Sandra Dean, Alana Hansen out of the hospital, out of UCLA Medical Center, recovering at another location after that bear attack last Tuesday morning when she was out walking her dogs on her property in the Kern County Mountains. And about an hour ago here, we learned just how damaging that attack was for her. Remember, she had to be helicoptered here to UCLA, medevac from Kern County after she and her dogs apparently surprised the bear. She was savagely clawed by the animal in the face, but she was still able to drive herself to the nearest fire station before being helicoptered out here. Apparently, Hansen's going to need extensive reconstructive surgery. The doctors really wouldn't go into that, but they did call her a very inspirational person. She suffered very extensive injuries to her face while sparing her vital structures. Her forehead scalp was completely hanging off to the side, and she had an indentation of her bone where the bear's claw tore through her face. 23-year-old Alec Newman, Elena Hansen's son, read a statement on behalf of his mother that put a humorous spin on a harrowing experience. The wonderful staff here at UCLA Medical Center for their professionalism, their fine good humor, and their successful efforts to protect what was left of her dignity during her recent misadventure. Having known mom for nearly 24 years, I think I can safely say that it's going to take more than some punk little bear to get rid of her. In the meantime, the State Department of Fish and Game has called off the hunt for the bear in the Kern County Mountains. There hasn't been another sighting of the bear in the area since a few hours after the attack. The Fish and Game has taken DNA samples from Hansen's clothing. They have not been able to positively prove that it's a bear. The results aren't in yet. But Fish and Game says that everything about this is consistent with an attack by a bear, a young one weighing about 150 pounds, about the size of Hansen's dogs. Live at UCLA Medical Center in Westwood, Mark Coogan, KCAL 9 News, back to you.